Hi, I'm Sharif Abdul Quddus. When the Egyptian Revolution began on January 25th, I returned to Cairo to cover the 18-day uprising from Tahrir Square that led to the ouster of 30-year President Hosni Mubarak. And while this was hailed as a huge achievement, both in Egypt and around the world, uh, it quickly became clear that the revolution in Egypt still had a long way to go. Many felt that while they had succeeded in getting rid of the head of the regime, that the body and soul of the regime was still very much in place, uh, whether in the economy or society or the security forces and the military, which has served as the backbone of dictatorship in Egypt for the past 60 years. And so I decided to return uh, to Cairo to cover this very pivotal uh, transitional period. And it's been a very tumultuous six months. We've seen a continuation of mass street protests, of sit-ins, uh, a strike wave that has uh, at times gripped all sectors of the economy as uh, the labor movement and workers push for economic justice. Uh, we've also seen an escalation in state-backed violence uh, in an attempt to quash dissent. Uh, security forces and the army have uh, killed uh, protesters. They have uh, arrested and tried more than 12,000 civilians in military trials and they have uh, really uh, done a significant clampdown and censorship of the media uh, in an attempt to control uh, the flow of information. Uh, so it's been a very interesting time to be here in a very pivotal time and one that had a, a personal aspect for me as well. I'm Egyptian American and I grew up in Cairo and uh, most of my life I had only known one ruler of Egypt and that was Hosni Mubarak and uh, to be able to witness and to be a part of uh, these events uh, in this uh, tumultuous year of 2011 has been uh, a very special and important time for me both as a reporter and uh, as, as a citizen of this country.